Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today I'm going to be showing you how to add up policies to your Shopify store, whether it be those legal pages such as your privacy policy, your shipping policy, your return policy. That's what we're going to be diving into here in today's video. Again, how to add those policies to your Shopify store and how to link them in your footer as well so they're easily accessible for your customers visiting your Shopify store. So that's going to be diving into here in today's video. And of course, before we dive into things, I do want to mention, of course, if you don't already have a Shopify store, you can go and check out that first link down below in the video description. That's brendaleski.com forward slash Shopify. We'll take you right over to this page here where you can get started with a Shopify free trial. Again, that's that first link down below in the video description. And without ado, let's go ahead and dive into the tutorial again, how to add policies to your Shopify store and how to link them in your footer as well. So first things first, you're going to want to be make sure that you're signed in to your Shopify store. Next, you're going to come up here to the top and you're going to search for policies. Now, as you can see here, it was already populated for me since I already searched it, but once you search for policies, that's P-O-L-I-C-I-E-S, it will show with the policy setting for create and manage your store policies, as well as written policies and manage return rules. First, we're just gonna go ahead and click on policies to bring up the policies manager menu. Now, there's a few different policies. You have your return and refund policy, you have your privacy policy, your terms of service, your or shipping policy, contact information, as well as purchase options cancellation policy. These are all a variety of different types of policies depending on the type of store that you're running and how you wanna go about doing things. Uh, that's gonna be looking at here and how to enable and then add these policies on your store as well as some free templates as well because uh, Shopify actually does make it pretty easy to get these added, but you do need to go to the policies menu first. Uh, next, now this is optional before we dive into adding the other policies and setting them on the store. Um, what we need to do first here is take a look at return rules. Now, by default, this is off. Now, you can enable return rules to simplify return management, set up return fees, return shipping, and define file, final sale items. And again, this is a completely optional step. If you don't wanna do the return rules, go ahead and skip forward in the video, but this is essential. If you do want to enable them, you do need to do this step first. So you're gonna go ahead and click on manage, and this is where you set your return rules. So this is where your return window, uh, if you're going to have a return window, again, you can read here a little bit more details. They do link that uh, at the top there. Uh, but the return window, essentially, if you wanna have 14 days, 30 days, 90 days, unlimited return window, or even custom days as well, you can set uh, custom days. By default, we're just going to leave it at the 30 days for the return window uh, and return shipping costs. This is where you can set uh, customer provides return shipping. Uh, you offer maybe free return shipping or flat rate return shipping. You can also charge a restocking fee based on a percentage if you want to do that as well. Uh, you can also opt for, you know, specific uh, customers can't request, this would be final sale items. So customers can't request returns for products set as final sale. Bundles can't be set as a final sale. Uh, if you want to enable that, you can select select specific products or specific collections. Now, I'm not gonna be going through all of those details here in this video, it's a little bit more complex, um, but essentially you would just click here and click add final sale product. You add the list of products that you would want. It is pretty straightforward, honestly. Um, you add that there and th those uh, the customers can't request returns uh, for the products set here within the final sale category. Um, but for the return rules, we're gonna go ahead and turn it on. We're gonna leave it at 30 days and free return shipping. If you wanna change that, you can come back here at any time and change that. Uh, just keep in mind that return rules will only apply to items purchased after the return rules were turned on or updated. So we're gonna go ahead and turn that on. Uh, now, since the return rules are now turned on, then we need to then go and update and add the written return and refund policy. Uh, again, or any other pages where you communicate this because we're adding policies for the first time in the store. There's nowhere else to update it. So we go there, uh, we have now updated that. So all we have to do is go back to our main policies page. Now that return rules is turned on, as you can see here, the summary, uh, returns accepted for 30 days, free return shipping, no restocking fee, no final sale items. Uh, that is the return rules. Again, that is completely optional. You don't have to turn them on, but if you want to do that first, Next, now we're gonna go ahead and go through all of the written policies and how to get these added to your store. So first we're gonna start with the return and refund policy because we already set uh, the rules. And once you click that, all you have to do is click that 
here, click on the little arrow as you saw, and it will bring up this pop-up menu here with return and refund policy. Uh, your return rules have been updated again uh, because of the return rules. And then all you have to do is then click on insert template. Now again, keep in mind, Shopify says this, and I will say this again to you as well, is that templates aren't legal advice. By using policy templates, you agree that you've read and agreed to the disclaimer. Again, if you do want more specific rules around like legal advice for the policies and terms and conditions on your site, I would maybe consult a legal advisor or legal counsel. Um, you know, for the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to be using the templates, but do keep that in mind as well. If you do want maybe some more professional guidance and advice, uh, you know, maybe consult a lawyer for that, right? These, these templates aren't legal advice, but you know, they're, they're good templates. Honestly, they work pretty good in general, uh, but just want to make that disclaimer. So we're going to go ahead and just click insert template. Uh, and then it will automatically insert the template uh, based on you know the Shopify's templates, which is pretty nice. And you can click in here, edit the template if you want, uh, maybe bold some sections, underline, do whatever you want, add some sections, edit things, uh, and it will automatically populate with some of the information that you provided to your Shopify store. If you need to edit anything, maybe the, the, the email, oh, you don't want the that email there, and you need to insert a return address, um, go ahead and add that information in here. So just make sure you've added any of the little template uh, sections here, or if you need to adjust the template at all, um, go ahead and do that. But honestly, for the most part, for most stores, this is probably pretty good. Just make sure you fill in and make sure the email's correct as well as the address. Uh, and then you should be good to go, right? That's the refund and return policy, insert the template. And then all we have to do is click on the little button down here at the bottom, click publish, and then boom, now we have the policy set. So the store policy is saved for the return and refund policy. Next, to add the privacy policy, Pretty much the same process, so it's a lot easier because you don't even have to go through the turn set settings. Uh, so for uh, policy, privacy policy, all we do is click here, and then currently there's no policy set. And then what I would recommend you guys do, more than likely for most of you guys watching this video, you click on privacy policy, and you're gonna wanna enable the use automated policy. Keep policy content in sync with store settings and latest Shopify templates. All you have to do is make sure that you just check this box here uh, and then your privacy policy in Spanish will also be replaced because I have Spanish language enabled on here on this store as well. I, it's primarily English, but I do have Spanish enabled as well. Uh, so that will be automatically translated, which is pretty nice too. Uh, so all you have to do is click check and boom, you will be good to go. And then all you have to do is click this little publish button and then that will publish the automated privacy policy. So it will automatically be kept up to date every day uh, as well with any kind of latest changes that Shopify may publish to stores. Uh, so that's uh, pretty nice that they do also have that there. So you automate the privacy policy. Next, we have terms of service. All you have to do, go through the same process, click on the no policy set. Uh, and then for terms of service, we're just gonna go ahead and click insert template. Uh, and this will add the terms of service. Now, you're going to wanna make sure that you edit and add additional information here, such as maybe the trade name, uh, make sure the email is correct, business address, business phone number, business registration number. Uh, these are all things that you'll need to add uh, to your terms of service that might not be in the default templated agreement here. Um, and then just scroll through it, make sure everything is correct. Again, you know, this website is owned and operated, da, 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 da all legal jargon page, um, but it is nice that they have these templates, right? It makes it pretty easy. Just make sure you go in and edit any of the, uh, you know, template information, make sure you in actually insert that. Once you've done that, then all you have to do is click here at the bottom and click on publish. That will then publish the terms of service. Now shipping policy, as you can see here, there is no, there is actually already a policy set for the shipping policy. Now Shopify does not actually offer a template for the shipping policy. So if you wanna get access to this shipping policy template, I will leave a link in the video description uh, to get access to this shop shipping policy template. You could also opt to just type up your own shipping policy if you wanna do that. Maybe use ChatGPT, uh, you know, <laughs> just ask it, hey, write me a shipping policy template. Boom, boom, boom. You copy it, you paste it in here from ChatGPT, and you've got yourself a shipping policy, right? It, you just need some standard information there. Uh, just make sure that it is correct. Um, again, if you do want to use this one, I will also leave a link to this one in the video description uh, for the shipping policy. But basically, you have shipping options, you know, the estimated delivery times, prices, uh, international shipping, all this kind of stuff, as well as like support email, shipping to PO boxes, all these kind of things. Uh, if there's anything that you need to edit, of course, just feel free to edit that. Uh, but yeah, this is the shipping policy. Once you have edited and pasted this, then all you have to do is click on save and publish. Now I already have this one saved and published. So uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and exit out of this one here. 
uh, if we have unsaved changes, we just click save uh, and then it will save the shipping policy. Uh, again, link in the video description. Now, moving on, next we have is contact information. Now, the contact information one, uh, this one, as you can see, is a little bit different because contact information is required on your website if you're selling into the European Union. If you're not selling into the European Union, uh, then you know you don't even necessarily have to use one. They do have a template. You just click insert template, and it will automatically add in you know address, email, phone number, trade name, VAT number, trade number. Uh, if you're selling in the European Union, you would have a VAT number as well as a trade number. Uh, so that's the information it will automatically add here for contact information. If you're not in the European Union, hey, then you don't even necessarily need to add this. Uh, some of this contact information is honestly pretty basic stuff that you probably should have on your Shopify store already anyway, as far as like your business name, uh, a contact email, maybe a phone number for your business, things like that, uh, a physical address, things like that, that you probably should have already anyway. Um, so this one's also sort of optional, um, but if you add it, you just insert the template uh, and then just edit the information because this will just pull the default stuff that you've already saved in your Shopify store. Uh, to your site. So if you need to change anything, you can do that here. And then you can go ahead and just click save or exit out of that unsave changes. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and click save. And now we have our contact information saved there. And then last but not least, we also have purchase options cancellation policy. We're gonna go ahead and click this here. Uh, and then we're just gonna go ahead and click insert template, bada boom, bada bing. And then, you know, some items in our store available via subscription or pre-order uh, cancellation policy. This is mostly if you have like pre-orders or subscriptions. If you don't have that, you don't necessarily need the purchase options cancellation policy. This is just if you've already added maybe a subscriptions app or a pre-orders app or something like that, uh, or maybe the way you're marketing something. So just keep that in mind. Again, this is just a template. Uh, you don't necessarily need this one. It's just if you do, if you are selling like subscriptions, pre-orders, things like that before you buy, uh, and then you go ahead and just click publish and boom. So we have now officially added all of the store policies to our Shopify store. Now to actually make them visible, you need to actually link them to your online store menu because this will not be done by default. So to actually add these and link them in the footer, uh, all we have to do is then on this menu here, it should say policies are linked in the footer of the checkout and can be added to your online store menu. Uh, all you have to do is click here on, you know, this is just like a tutorial that shows you how to get to your online store menu. Uh, so to actually go about doing this, right, we need to close out of here. Uh, next, you're just gonna come over here to the left-hand side and click on content. Then you're gonna click on menus and it will bring you over to this page here. We're gonna edit the footer menu. Now, most Shopify stores by default should have a footer menu already added here with the menu options. If you haven't edited your, you know, from the basic Shopify store theme, it, it you know, you should have this section already on your Shopify store. So we're just gonna add the menu items in the footer. Uh, so as you can see here, by default, we have like a search additional legal info, contact us to page. Uh, all you have to do to add the legal policies, just click add menu item, click here on link. So not the label, you're gonna click on link and then you're gonna come up here under online store. If you scroll up and then you cl click on policies, then you will have the list of all of your policies uh, to link to on your Shopify search. So we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and do that. We're gonna add contact information. We're gonna add policies, privacy policy, click on that again, policies. Uh, so we've added those two, refund policy, click here, uh, add another, uh, shipping policy, add another, scroll down, policies, subscription policy. Again, you don't necessarily need that one if you're not selling anything like that. Uh, and then we're gonna add terms of service. Now the ones that pretty much everybody is going to need is gonna be the privacy policy, uh, some sort of refund policy, shipping policy, and terms of service. Really primarily it's the privacy policy, terms of service, uh, and then the, your shipping policy. I imagine you're selling shippable products. If you're not selling shippable products, then maybe you don't need it. Uh, refund policy, again, these are mostly, again, the, the least common one is probably the subscription policy. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything. Once you have added the menu items, all of the different terms of service, you go ahead to your link, policies. Okay, we've got terms of service, subscriptions, shipping, refund, privacy, contact. That's six here in total. So one, two, three, four, five, uh, six. Again, we can just delete that one because we, we don't need that one. That one's empty. Now, if you do want to reorder them as well, you can also just click and drag and kind of move them around. If you maybe you want you know, privacy policy first, then term service. You just click and drag and move them around. And then all you have to do is click here and click save. 
then we go ahead back to the store we refresh the store and then boom now we have everything linked here now this is a little excessive again if you want to change the order feel free to do that uh, and it will then automatically populate here on your Shopify store in the footer section of your Shopify store now if you don't have a footer section go to online store and then this is under themes by default again this should be here we're just going to click on customize scroll all the way down and you're gonna click on the footer here under footer and then as you can see here this is the collapsible uh, section featured collection like you know this is just in the footer make sure that you have a menu section enabled again all you have to do is click this plus button click on menu uh, and just make sure that you have a menu and then you're gonna make sure over here on the right hand once you've selected a menu uh, you're gonna click on it should be footer menu right if you need to edit that or remove it that's where you do it here is under menu uh, again we've added the menu here in the footer we have actually like multiple of them now at this point uh, if you want to change that from like quick links or something you can also change the heading here to maybe like uh, policies or something like that uh, if you're just linking to your policies then you could link it and save it like that click save refresh this here Again, now we have it like multiple, multiple times. Uh, but just to show you, that's how you do it in case it's not showing up. Uh, so we have the policies, we have all our policies. We click here, we go to like terms of service. Boom, it is available here, all the legal jargon. Um, we go back to maybe, you know, shipping policy, contact information, privacy policy, you know, updated as of today because that one automatically updates, which is pretty, pretty nice. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's again how you add your policy pages to your Shopify store. Uh, again, I hope you guys have found this tutorial helpful on how to add policies and the legal pages to your Shopify store. Uh, if you do want to add any other additional information that maybe doesn't fit within those policy pages, all you have to do is go to uh, uh, online store, go to pages. And then you can just add a page here. If you need to add any other additional legal information, uh, you can just go to add a page, legal uh, jargon, type in your legal jargon here, uh, make it visible and then click save. And then this will be a page and you can add this to your store's navigation. Go to footer menu, add menu item, should be under pages and legal jargon. Go ahead and click save. We refresh this here. We now have the legal jargon page. So this is like a, a <clears throat> another page if you wanted to add any other legal information, that's you could easily just do that here if it doesn't fit within the privacy policies or other pages that you have already added in your policy section. This will be basically just a page. Uh, you can add any other information here that you want. Uh, so guys, that's again how to add the policies and any other kind of legal pages to your Shopify store. Uh, again, guys, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, be sure to smash that like button. And again, I do want to remind you, of course, if you don't already have a Shopify store, you can check out that first link down below in the video description. That's brenvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. I'll take you right over this page here where you can get started with a Shopify free trial. Again, that's that first link down below in the video description. Guys, if you found this story helpful or enjoyed it, then be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Anyway, guys, that's all for today's video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.